So I picked the SPY, I picked the Qs, and I picked Microsoft. And I got all three of them, and I made like $300 on the Qs. I made uh, like $150 on the SPY, and I made um, I made a couple hundred dollars in Microsoft. So so all in all, with all my options, I made like I had like a $600 day. So, so that was fun. You didn't do any Boeing ones. No, because I. Oh. The, I know, I know, but I did the Boeing short. I, I, know, I know. I know. I wish I'd done. I called that one Boeing the 285 is late. In fact, let's look at that right now and see where that is. It was a 287. No, the it's Boeing? a 28550 right now. It's a 28550. Well, it went down there this morning, and then I actually got oh. out at 280. I mean, you I could have done those ones this morning you got out, and then you, but it was like, first of all, the pushback was so big, and if you It wasn't. I thought, you know what? Conviction. We're going to flip. I kind of yeah. thought we might flip. I didn't think we were going to flip, but it was, it was a wild day. I mean, it, it was the only, the only, I mean, it was just, I can't fault anyone for getting out today, which you did, but when right. you emailed me, I thought you were, you were holding something, something in No, I wasn't, because, because tomorrow, I mean, I know, they can come up with a vaccine tonight, and tomorrow everything will go <laughs> sky high again, you know? Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Okay. Times you doing that, so I. I know. I feel the same way. I, you're, you're, I mean, like that's why Netflix ended up continuing. Did you do the Netflix long? I called a couple days ago. Yes, I, but I did get out of that yesterday because I, I actually paid my seventy percent and I got popped out and I was happy about that because yeah. I made like five hundred dollars in that yesterday. Oh my God, Netflix is tanky right now that I'm looking at it. Let me look at the DPZ and see how this closed. I. It yeah. kind of was flat. I, I, I mean, thought. I, I think. I still think we're lower, but it's the the problem is, I don't think it was. I don't think it's a problem if you held anything into tomorrow because it's Friday. But going from Friday to Monday, I think would be really yeah. iffy to hold anything. But I don't. But we're, what you could do, since you got out of everything, is you could figure out tonight what you want to do tomorrow. I don't yes. know if I'm going to call any new ones tomorrow, or if you could retake some of these. Probably just retake them. Okay. Um, but like I would Apple, consider doing that. Okay, go ahead. What were we going to say? No, I would consider doing that, retaking them in the morning, depending on how everything looks. Wait, I mean, you honestly, honestly, this would have been crazy, but you could have taken them in the morning, gotten out, and you could have retaken them. After I know. The rally. You could, I mean, that, that's how nutty today was. You could have taken everything I called in the morning, got out, and you could have retaken everything I called again. I know, because look at Microsoft. I mean, well, I was in the Microsoft option. Well, the problem that, was I didn't think we got the playthrough in Microsoft today. I didn't. I did not think we got the playthrough today in Facebook. I did not think we even got enough playthrough today in Apple. And I call that Amazon late. Oh, yes, look at did. that. It's AT76. I called that on a, a very, very late. And I said, let me look at this. And honestly... This is tanking now, too. So I think we're going to open lower tomorrow. I can't say if I'm going to call anything new tomorrow or not. But then again, I knew today was it. I just knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. And it was so hard this morning I, I, out of the gate the way we pushed back. But I, I just did not give up on it today. I did not give up on it no matter what. No. I mean, it's just well, like. I was we had a couple days like that last week and we didn't give up. And, and I wound up having green days every day. Like because of that. Because. I, ju I just followed you. I just followed you. I just followed you. <laughs> I just you know? really got out of my <laughs> Okay, though. one more time. Here we go. One more time. Like, okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're not in anything then? No, I'm not in anything. I can sleep okay. well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but anyways, I, well, you're and, a nurse. And, before we go, give me the give me the give me the nurse's viewpoint of this virus thing. I mean, I think people are really getting insane about it. But I don't. I mean, what do you think? Well, it, they so they say it's not airborne. Mm -hmm. So all those masks aren't doing a hill of beans. And I actually heard somebody on the radio yesterday say they tried to buy masks, mm -hmm. and you can only get them on Amazon and they cost like $150 for like one mask because That's they're all gone. And then they cost $50 to ship them because they, so people are really going crazy. I think we have to like, just take a breath, calm down, yeah. wash your hands. Now I'm going, I have a trip planned to France uh, in April and, and Italy in June. And I'm like, I'm going, I don't care. You're going to the April one though? In 
France? Yeah, I hope so. Oh I'm God. thinking the weather change. Once spring comes, mm -hmm. I think this will all settle down. Well, honestly, you know, the, the, the problem is, though, if one person dies in the United States, the market's going to tank. Nobody's died here yeah. yet. That's the problem. I, and and that's the other thing is is that it, the market, like you said before, the market's all right now. It's all news driven. I mean, I poor BB, BB, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. They had good earnings and they couldn't oh, even catch. I didn't look at anything sorry. even tonight. I didn't look at anything tonight. But it's it, it, honestly, the, well, it comes out now is bind. I don't even know what it reported yet. <laughs> oh, it reported tonight. Four thirty, I think, is bind. I really, yeah. Oh, I thought that was next. I thought that was March. No, I think it's this afternoon. Let me look it up. It was, and Etsy had good earnings. And we, we didn't even look at those. Who cares? No, I mean, I honestly, honestly, honestly. Oh, no, this is reporting right now. This is tanking. Wow. Oh, we could look uh, at this, too. Well, this is, yeah. this is looks really, really good for tomorrow. It's at 100, 100, 101. Wow. Wow. And it was, what, up to, like, 122 at one point, I Why think, or I something. Why do I think that that was? was in March. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. Anyway, no, I, I knew I knew BBY was this morning and and Bind was tonight. I usually re read those articles from CNBC, you know, what we have to look forward to today. I always try. Yeah. Well, that's good. So long story short, prior to today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were so easy, one and done. Now today yes. was wild. So, I don't know, okay, so what did you do? Let me just look here on this chart to see what you did. EXAS the reality is that Tesla would have had that oh, no. secondary move if it wouldn't have been for the market. And it held up so yeah. well last week. Thursday it did. and Friday, it held up so well. I it mean, did. And it's and, one of those and, things. Yeah. What helps me is when you always say to concentrate on what's working. So I kind of ignore what isn't. And I definitely like, you know, like the whole Netflix thing yesterday. So that was amazing. And yeah. and then the three puts today. So, so I'm okay. Yeah. You okay, know. Good. All right. So then, Wait. well, tomorrow's the last day of the month. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But so you're staying yes. on track. And you got to, sometimes it's just, I mean, I prefer to do one thing. But if I see that everything's going to fall. I mean, yes. So, you know, like you know, I have to get out of my head. Remember that day in August when the market power like it, it went down so much and it stayed down all yeah, day. That was that was a, I was driving weekend. back. You call it a was it a power trade? It's Is that what you call it? Day down. It was before Labor Day weekend. Yes, I remember that. Yes. It was before Labor Day weekend. And so I have to get out of my head that just because you say that things are going to go down, that we're going to have a power trend day, you know? And maybe that was my problem with the SPY today when I was up $300. Because I, I, it did it. It almost touched the 300 and that was your target you gave us. And I'm like, well, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. And yeah. I, have to, I have to stop doing that. But honestly, when you look at a chart, I'm just going to flip over here to the chart. Okay. When you look at the SPY. Right. Well, now this is hard to tell because this is what's happening now. We're at 296.55. But if I, I take away today, this was before today. Look at how much selling we actually had. So like to say that yeah. we could have just opened today and it fell like all day long, it probably wasn't realistic. I mean, right out of the gate. So that, that okay. pushback is what's probably helping the continued selling that's happening now after hours here tonight even. And do you know what I'm okay. saying? It's and, and if Yeah, we I do. In, yeah, and if we were in a bearish market, which we're not, we're not in a bearish market yet, even though people are going to start saying that tomorrow, I know that people will. But <laughs> even, even if, if we're not, but the fact is that if we were trading in a bearish market, I'd probably be waiting and I probably would not be as aggressive or I'd be giving wider stops. Okay. Because well, does it seem to you that it's acting that way though? Because it's, sometimes it seems like the best setup happens after 10, 10, 30. It's just because of what it's been this week. We gapped up okay. and fell on Tuesday. We didn't go anywhere on Monday. And then we gapped up and fell on Wednesday. That's not normal. I mean, it's just not normal. I think I think the market's very volatile right now and very tricky. That's why having 100% conviction in whatever you're doing, whether you're going long or short something or whatever symbol you're watching, you got to stay with it. Because if you flip-flop, like if you flip-flop something today, like you would have gotten hurt. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't do that anyways, yeah. but people do do that. They go long, they go short, the short fails, and they go long. Uh, and then, do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you yes, were long today, look what happened to you. Like, people did go long this bounce today. I'm not saying that's why we fell off a planet here late in the day, but I am, I know that people went long here today because we lifted like this into the lunchtime period before we dropped. I know. 
And we lifted up, I mean, it was a pretty good amount. I, I said, oh my gosh, I wonder if it's going to go green. So the problem was you, you, you didn't get out of this when it went? Was that the problem? Right. So when it, oh, yeah. it touched the 300 and change, I should have got out then. And I didn't because I was going to ride it down, uh, try and ride it down a little further. So that was my, my own fault. But it was a fault. good trade there. It was a good trade. Yeah, I was up 300. It was a great trade. Yeah. Yeah, stop, so that was my fault. Oh. So basically, um, oh gosh, I wish you had done one Boeing. I wish you had done the 285s that I'd called late in the day. If you just just done the know. one. I know, and I I probably should have bought it at the end of the day because then I was out of my other put, so that freed up the money, so yeah, I could yeah, have bought yeah. it. Yeah. But I guess with all the things we were doing, I just didn't think about it. That's okay. <laughs> tomorrow morning, I'm gonna look at this, and if it looks good tomorrow, then I'm probably gonna call the 280s. Okay. In, in, in all right. Boeing, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean way, Boeing's ahead. been weak, and you've said that all along, you know. Like and I said and in December, and then we did have the sell in January, but this is it. I mean, again, this yeah. is the big one. But as far yeah. as the market goes, I, I was, I was just like on Tuesday, I was like, I don't understand why this is happening. Like Tuesday, it just fell out of the sky. I was like, how could I have done this here? I mean, it was just like we just fell out of the sky, and then I really was like, well, I'm not going to chase this, and then we right. attempted to hold on Wednesday and then but then I knew that like I listened to Trump talk last night and then the market was selling off while he was talking I mean it wasn't yeah. when he was talking and I said oh because remember when they had that Iran thing and he was talking and all of a sudden I remember I was I was in a lot of calls then and he was talking and everything was going up and so that's when I got out of course at the end of his talk mm -hmm. and I, I did really good but that didn't happen this time and then after he finished talking somebody reported and I think the story wound up being false, mm -hmm. that there was a person that that got the virus and they weren't in China, like they couldn't figure out the source. And that was enough to rock everybody again. But, but you can what see I'm what panic you, does to dies, people. If somebody dies, it'll be catastrophe, even if just one person. First of all, it'll be horrible, horrible if somebody dies. Yeah. But I mean, if one person dies in the U.S., can you imagine what the reaction will be? It'll be horrible. No. I can't. And, you know, the Democrats are just looking, they'll say, oh, it's Trump's fault. Things <laughs> like that. Now. But, yeah. but I, I, you know, the other thing that amazed me was Microsoft, because Microsoft was so strong and it just seemed to have gotten so rattled. But there's other things, there's other news along with Microsoft. It's, I think they're expecting, everyone's expecting not big earnings, I guess, for the rest of the year. I know, and I think that's an overreaction, but people would yeah. rather be conservative because they right. don't know like they're i mean that's what they were saying last night at the press conference trump's like everyone's like we're prepared but he doesn't necessarily think it's going to become a widespread outbreak but that's what everyone else thinks that so i mean i that's why they're selling 150 fifty dollar masks yeah 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 and uh, most of the people that are affected by the virus are over 55. So it, it, you have to be older, and a lot of times you have to have like a respiratory condition. Somebody maybe that has asthma, somebody that has emphysema or something like that. It makes you more prone to catching the virus. But I also think that, you know, we can't trust the Chinese either. So, well, you know, if they, to see what happens tomorrow. I mean, you yeah, know, but I would watch <laughs> if I call something new on Friday. I mean, I think it would be a good idea to take profits before the weekend. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep, because you never know what can happen. That's one thing that this market's taught me. Well, Just because it's down one day, the next day it could be, shoo! You yeah. Know? <laughs> well, maybe BYND is going to make up for Tesla not following through to the upside. Yeah. We, we look like that. <laughs> yeah, <maybe>. That's all <laughs> right. Like I said, I concentrate now on what's working. Yeah, So exactly. no, no buyer's remorse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good job, Jackie. Let's see all right. Thanks, Melissa. Really strong. Have a great night. See you in the morning. Yep. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.